forming a progressive alliance to keep the Conservatives out of power. But Mr Clegg said today that Mr Brown was a desperate politician. Our correspondent Rita Chakrabarti has more details. If the polls are right, this is what we have in store, a hung parliament with no one party winning an overall majority. Who the Lib Dems would support in that event is the million dollar question. Morning. Um, Nick Clegg has consistently refused to say. This morning he was especially aggressive about Labour and Gordon Brown. I think there is something, frankly, desperate about uh, uh, a Labour party uh, and uh, their leader, Gordon Brown, who now tries to present themselves as agents of reform. So, that so does that mean Nick that Clegg party. wouldn't take his party into coalition with Labour? We tried repeatedly to ask him. Would you do a deal with a desperate man? I would not do any deals which would shortchange the British people on the big changes I think they're now demanding in increasing numbers. So people you wouldn't to... work with a man that you describe as desperate? I think Gordon Brown is desperate. As I Actually, as it happens, I think uh, David Cameron is in, uh, desperate. Could you work with a man that you described as desperate that you don't believe in? I don't believe in the record of the Labour government under Gordon Brown. So no clear answer, well, and one senior Lib Dem this afternoon even suggested that Clegg mania could catapult the man himself into number 10. Even so, Gordon Brown was still smiling today and talking warmly about an issue close to the Lib Dems' heart, political reform. We want to see a new type of House of Commons, a new type of House of Lords. We're prepared to have a referendum on that. I hope that the Liberals would support that. I know the Conservatives don't. Uh, but I hope the Liberals will support that. Mm, that is really good. He was enjoying himself, but David Cameron knows his claim to be the agent of change is being challenged by the Lib Dems. Today he said he was the one who would overhaul the system. You, the people, choose our candidates. You decide if your Member of Parliament has misbehaved, you sack them. You make sure your ministers answer to you every day, every hour, in terms of what they do, the money they spend. The prospect of a hung parliament is now shaping this campaign, but it all depends on whether the Lib Dem honeymoon continues. Much now rides on Nick Clegg's performance in the second leaders' debate tomorrow. Rita Chakrabarti, BBC News, Westminster. Well, live to Bristol tonight, where that big debate, as Rita was saying, takes place tomorrow night. Our political editor, Nick Robinson, there already. Nick, all eyes on Nick Clegg. They are. I remember you when we first announced that these debates were going to take place. I wondered if we were guilty of a little bit too much hype. But remember, since that first debate a week ago, Nick Clegg has completely dom dominated this election. We've seen a movement in the polls unlike anything that has been seen in any modern election campaign. And he is now coming in for scrutiny and criticism, the like of which he has never experienced before. Witness, for example, tomorrow morning's Daily Telegraph front page which carries the following headline, Nick Clegg, the Lib Dem donors and the payments into his private account. This is the Telegraph going through its file on expenses and finding payments from Liberal Democrat donors through his private account. Now tonight Mr Clegg and the Liberal Democrats have said the money was properly given, it was properly accounted for, indeed it was declared in the House of Commons Register and to the Electoral Commission to pay for a member of staff. Privately, they accept that it looks a bit odd it went to his private account if they can't prove that it went for the uh, purpose that they've declared. In other words, to pay for a member of staff, they've got some difficulty. But I think the feeling in Lib Dem HQ is that they are now being smeared and that some people will accuse them of hypocrisy. Others may say that Mr Clegg is a mere mortal like most politicians. Others will say he's been treated shabbily. And a word, Nick, given the state of the campaign now, on the challenge for each of these leaders in this prime ministerial debate tomorrow. Well, I think the challenge is to get over the Clegg effect if you're Gordon Brown or David Cameron. Mr Brown wants to get this election onto the one issue he thinks matters, the economy. He thinks if he does that, he can win over both Mr Clegg and Mr Cameron and finally persuade the British public to back him again. David Cameron has been aping much of the anti-establishment appeal of the Lib Dem leader. He needs to prove that he is the real route to change if that's what you want. And Mr Clegg needs to prove he's no mere flash in the pan, he is a bit different. Nick, thank you very much. Nick Robinson there, who's in uh, Bristol for that uh, debate tomorrow. Now, two major teaching unions, the NUT and the NAHT, have uh, voted to go ahead.